Marsh Industries had identified the need for a next generation sewage treatment system. The company already had the expertise to develop the system, but as a small business it was struggling with the required testing to meet new legislation. INET advisors met Marsh at a national event and quickly identified the potential. INET offered us £7,000 for testing. Now that sum, it sparked the idea. Suddenly we thought, well, if we have the £7,000, we can actually now go out and find our own validation of testing. We sat down with Steve uh to assess the type of work that he was doing and how we might be able to support him at the INET. Um, he was eligible for innovation advice and guidance funding. That is for uh, him to be able to look at funding for use of testing certification, prototyping. Um, and we were able to sit down with him, work through the application form uh, to see how his project would best come together to suit the funding. The UK has got a particular problem where we've got massive stocks of septic tanks. Now, them septic tanks have been handed over to social housing groups and to uh, consortiums. And the position we now find ourselves in, these septic tanks are actually polluting the, the groundwater. The social housing sector finds itself in a very embarrassing situation of pollution. The actual cost of replacing them septic tanks with full sewage treatment plants can be run about from seven to ten thousand pounds. So price is prohibitive. We sat down with INET to develop the next generation of intelligent septic tank that would give a number of advantages, one being cost, more importantly would be the ease of installation and probably paramount to making sure we complied with European legislation. The new system from Marsh offers a cost-effective solution for organisations responsible for social housing, public or commercial properties where mains drainage is not available. Innovative design means that it's the same size as a domestic septic tank. What's different is that it takes raw domestic or commercial sewage and filters it to safe and acceptable standards for discharge directly into the ground. Well, what you see here, this is the end result. This is the, the final effluent that's gone through the fire filter uh, intelligent septic tank unit. Just over 30 hours ago, this would have been raw sewage. This sample will not only meet United Kingdom European legislation, it will exceed it. Fundamental to the success of the new system was its certification against new Environment Agency standards. The problem was a lack of testing facilities in the UK. So, with INET Innovation Advisors on hand at each stage, Marsh was able to develop its own in-house facilities in partnership with local water authorities and the Environment Agency. And with this test house in place in-house, we were able then to put forward regular samples twice a week which were sent down to Southern Water Laboratories, which would then validate our test results, which then can go forward to British Water for verification and allow us then to put this product into the United Kingdom. We are now taking this, this product into Europe. We're shipping on a regular basis now, twice a week to France. You'll see product in the other warehouse where you'll see a series of tanks going out to Spain. Outside of Europe, being the, the standard is prefaced with a BS for British standard, that enables us to ship even further afield. The furthest we've actually shipped at the current time is Cambodia. We're recruiting new people. Further people have been recruited into the factory here. A new graduate joins us at the end of May, solely to uh, become the champion for this product. It certainly would not be an understatement to say that INET, and particularly Gillian, has moved this company on leaps and bounds. I think from the first meeting I had with Steve, it's been amazing to see um, that the amount of money we've been able to offer him has catapulted his idea and uh, the projections of the business and securing it for the next few years at least. INET has propelled this company into a situation where we are extremely strongly placed to take advantage of any uplift in the UK. Similarly, INET has enabled us to investigate marketplaces and information that was not, wouldn't have been available to us and has also given us resource to feel confident in what we're doing. INET, I would say, please, anybody who comes across INET, listen to them and grab it with both hands. The Sustainable Construction Innovation Network is a project supported by the East Midlands Development Agency, the European Regional Development Fund and the University of Northampton. <laughs>